Guess what? Spidey's back with another incredible fucking movie review. Comes from this collection again. 50 of the worst doo-doos ever made. This one is called The Monster Locks. <laughs> ah, it's actually in my DVD player to the left. I got it on silent mode right now, so I will, uh, I'll get going in just a minute. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll kind of give you a slack rundown about the movie, man. It's pretty much about a creepy old haunted house, really dark shadowy type house. Kind of looks like the Adams Family, man. These people are creepy as fucking hell, man. You got, you got the son who looks like a fucking, like, like Lurch's grandfather. You got his uh, mother who looks like, uh, like Grandmama from the Adams Family. And you got the guy in the wheelchair who's actually just, a, he's actually, a, he's crippled in a wheelchair. And he, you got, you got the, the daughter coming back to claim her inheritance. And you got her husband tagging along. And you got the, you got the, you got the, the attorney there to read the will. Because the brother, there's a brother up in the second floor bedroom who's dead. <laughs> so everything goes to the nephews and the sons and the daughters and the servants. And stuff like that. It's basically a, a reading of the will. It's really exciting. Maybe not. <laughs> And you got all you got you got the chauffeur in the outside in the car who just won't come into the house because he can hear this goddamn baboon. There's a goddamn monkey downstairs in the cellar caged up. Apparently the brother who died at the very beginning of the movie, we'll see that scene. He he basically was sort of like a some kind of a scientist he's experimenting with uh primates and stuff like that. He wanted to see how intelligent they were. Oh my god. It's not a bad movie. It's really darkly. Uh, let's, let's get going here. Let's get going. I'm going to start from the opening credits and you can listen to the opening music. Oh my God. And then you'll get my lowdown on the review. How about that? All right, there we go. We'll listen to the credits first. Hmm, my tits are looking really good. Man, look at my tits! Oh my god! Fucking fucking Bradley's giving me tits, man! Look at that! Oh, I'm so proud of those. You can't see the opening credits. Uh as soon as those are uh those credits are over, I'll flip the webcam around. But this is all the different credits running up and down the screen for the Monster Walks 1932. Stars a lot of silent air type uh, actors. Except this is a talkie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time to flip the webcam around. Ah, oh, it's like this old dark house. What a creepy ass fucking movie. Ah, oh, this is the dead brother on the fucking bed up in the second floor, covered over with a sheet. I think I supplied that sheet. They should be thankful. <laughs> This is uh, this is the attorney and uh, and the sister of the uh, 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 of the dead guy right there. <laughs> this is a, really a fucking creepy movie. I like you got a lot of candles lit and everything in this movie, man. You know the it's like deadpan humor, dark humor, man. It's not very cheery, folks. You know if you if you don't like cheery movies, don't watch this movie. Oh my god. What's going on here? I think one of my nipples is popping up. <laughs> Where's my magnifying glass? I gotta check things out. For four minutes, Jesus Christ. What's going on here? Isn't that exciting? Uh, this goddamn attorney is so creepy, man. He gives the weirdest goddamn looks I've ever seen in my life. Oh, there's the monkey. The fucking monkey's down in the basement, man. Yogi. Yogi bear. <laughs> should I leave the volume up while you gibber gabber about the movie? Or should I just shut it down, man? Oh, anyway, so it's pretty much a dismal inheritance movie. The guy in the wheelchair, the brother of the dead guy up on the second floor, thinks he's going to get everything. He get he gets basically the house and stuff. 
uh, the, <laughs> his son is is like the uh, like uh, Lurch's uh, grandson. He doesn't get anything along with his sister. Or actually, yeah, that's that's his mother. You'll see them in a few minutes. She was up there in the bedroom right there with uh, with the attorney looking at the dead corpse. <laughs> you never get to see that fucking guy under the sheet though. You don't even know. Just some actor or something. But fuck, man, oh, it's fucking weird. It's a really kind of a weird movie, man. I watched the whole thing. It's about it's only about sixty minutes long. This is the guy in the wheelchair, of course. You have my deepest sympathy, There's a son behind him pushing at the attorney, and uh, the old witch right there is uh, the the sister of the big guy behind the wheelchair, Lurch. And I was the sickly one. Look at the look on her face, man. She's like a she's like an old witch, man. Just sneering her face with fucking curl, with curl and onion. There's the there's the monkey, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all think it's the monkey doing the killing, but it's not. It's the fucking sun behind the wheelchair. Lurch. Take Mr. Wilkes down to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's weird. I don't know who. I gotta find out what, what that actor's name is. He he is like he kind of reminds me of like Lurch's goddamn, uh, you know, his uh, his father, Lurch's father, <laughs> from the Adams family, man. Oh. They're gonna go look at Yogi, man. Yogi's vicious, man. He's locked up. Uh, should we show Yogi first? Yeah, you get to see Yogi, man. Yogi is, Yogi's uh, he's a, uh, he's an angry monkey. <laughs> he's just a chimpanzee or something, man. He is not happy being in that cage, man. But he does know how to hop pretty good. I give him. I wish I could hop that good. He's a fucking killer, that goddamn son, man. He's a fucking murderer, man. He kills like four people in the house during the, that that shift. Shift? I say shift. I'm gonna turn the volume down. So basically, it's pretty uh, pretty much a revenge story because the daughter of the guy who's dead upstairs is getting the entire uh, fifty thousand inheritance money and stuff like that. The the idiot in the the brother idiot in the wheelchair is gonna be able to stay in the house for the rest of his life. Uh, you know, he just, he's not getting a victor or anything because he's the brother of the goddamn dead man. <laughs> you know? And of course, the son and uh, and uh, his sister, his mother, they ain't getting shit. 50 bucks a month, apparently, according to the reading of the will. They're fucking angry. So the guy in the wheelchair is so pissed off they didn't get shit, he has his son start killing people in the house. I think he killed the guy up in the bedroom. He ends up killing, uh, <laughs> he ends up trying to kill the guy in the wheelchair. He strangles his own sister, thinking that she's uh, that young lady that came to inherit and uh, uh, claim her inheritance with her husband. You'll see her up upcoming clips. <laughs> so, you know, this, they're, they're, they're just angry people, man. They're just fucking angry, man. Angry. You know, just, <laughs> oh, oh, this lady cracks me up, man. She is just so personable. Oh my God! Son and mother. <laughs> That's what they are right there. Son and mother, man. How much time are we up to in this review? This is gonna be a long one, man. This is the dick that's having everybody, ki oh, his son, kill everybody in the house. Yeah, but your son is a fucking monkey. Anything is possible. He's a killer. Don't you not consider that, Robert? When you asked me to leave the will in this house, I was selfish, perhaps. I was thinking of my own condition. <laughs> this let's fast forward it to the next frame, man. This movie just gets worse and worse and worse. Let's see what's on this frame right here, man. Prepare a room for Mr. Will. <laughs> I, this is so funny, man. The movie is... Yeah, I'm going to explain a little bit more of this movie, man. 
you know, the movie actually has got a lot of good actors in it. Everybody plays their part pretty damn good. It's supposed to be darkly lit and everything like that. I mean, it looks exactly, you know, it's like old, like an old creepy old haunted mansion. You know, the, maybe a, close to a dozen people living in it with the, the groundskeepers, all those idiots you already saw, the monkey in the basement. Ooh. I wish I had a monkey in my basement. I swear it, man. I would love to go down there and just uh, play uh, poker with them. <laughs> you know, deal out some poker cards and have some, have a drink and some food, man, and Maybe a smoke a cigar or something, you know, and hey, I look wonderful. What the hell is going on here, man? I look like I'm a little low tonight. You can see everything in the background, man, which is really creepy. You can see uh, Slappy over here. You can see the babes over there. You can see Tom back there. You can see the top of my receding hairline. <laughs> okay, let's go back to some more of this movie. Oh, I think this webcam kind of shifted a little bit. Turn the volume back up. Now there's the daughter. She gets all the fucking money. She came in from some other state with her husband to claim her inheritance. <laughs> My shrunken body. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole, this guy, man. Oh, he's always playing the sympathy card. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. I like get my I get myself all propped up in this fucking chair. I look more commanding like this. <laughs> what a bunch of sappy dialogue. Let me please, let me take his place in your heart. Oh, please. But I'm going to try to murder you tonight with my son who's going to try to kill you. And he ends up killing three other people instead and doesn't even get her. It gets close, but not quite. Look at the look on his face. He's fucking jealous as hell of that fucking, uh, that young lady that just inherited, inherited, uh, inherited. <laughs> It's not a bad picture. It's not bad picture quality. Okay, we're gonna okay. shut the sound down for a few minutes. Um, uh, you know the picture quality ain't bad for 1932. It's kind of one one of the they, they say it's one of those pre-code type movies, which I'm not even sure. Maybe there's no ratings on them at all. They're copyright free or something like that, you know. And it, technically, it's not a bad movie. It has not really much of a sign a sound. Uh, uh, soundtrack it just pretty much has dialogue you know the all the idiots talking in the house you know all backstabbing each other all trying to figure out who's doing the killing and stuff like that I'm doing the killing it's me Spidey come and get me shit I don't think so <laughs> I love this shit man we'll watch some more of this shit this ain't a bad movie though it's, you can make so much fun of these type of movies. Oh, I'm sure they meant well when they made this movie, you know. Thank you. You knew my brother. You knew my brother? My brother was a bitch. Yes. Well, fast forward a little bit, man. Let's go to the next frame and see what's going on here. Ah, uh, there's the daughter mourning her father's uh, demise up at stairs in the, uh, <laughs> under the sheet on the bed, you know. The wind blowing in the background. Woo. Oh, Daddy, I'm afraid. I, I don't know what it is. Don't worry, terrible. you'll be dead by dawn. <laughs> Can I first kiss you before you're you're murdered at two o'clock in the morning? You're so sexy, but you're not going to get the money, sweetie. Me and my me and my son and. Uh, the idiot in the wheelchair going to get the money. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, like, look at her. That fucking looks like fucking uh, grandmama from the Adams family, man. I swear it. And her son, Lurch. That fucker's a creep, man. He's fucking creepy. Just his uh, facial mannerisms are just creepy as hell. 
Nice to see ya. I'll be strangling your ass about two o'clock in the morning, so be ready. <laughs> Don't worry, he gets killed by the monkey at the end. Lurch. Oh my god, what a fucking movie. Ah, oh, it's so morbid. It's really a morbid ass movie. I'm gonna turn the volume down. It's a pretty morbid ass movie, man. You know, it, it kind of reminds me, I don't know why it reminds me of like the, the Scrooge movies from way back when. You know, it has that kind of, <coughs> excuse me. I better, I better suck down some water. I've got my little hole right here, see? If I can find it. All right, all right, I got, I got, ah. That works. I kind of drilled this little hole here so I can use a straw to kind of get my mo uh, my water or my uh, my my lips moist. Oh my God! Now I can't even talk. My mouth is soaking wet, and you can see my lips. Yeah, well, maybe not. And it's too. Let's fast forward another frame here. Oh my God! I kind of like this movie. This is kind of like one of those gems that you don't see too often. They really don't make movies like this anymore, man. Well, certainly, Doctor. We can consider you one of the family. Oh, he's Thank so, so generous. You don't mind if we kill you at 2 o'clock in the morning, too, do you? Oh, how about it, man? Oh, you and your wife can both go at the same time, man. All right, Miss Brooks. It goes large, Thank man. I'm going to be a minute. Like I said, he's Doctor, the guy who's doing all the killing. Yes, I will, do. She's like an old spinster, man. You know, the fucking bun is too tight on top of her head or something. I don't know, man. How much time are we up to in this goddamn review? Oh, we got no we're only halfway through, man. You are lucky. Here's the here's the chauffeur is scared shitless. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to even come in the car in the house, man. He doesn't want to come in. Uh, that guy's great, man. I can't think of his name, man, that plays the chauffeur, man. He's great, man. <laughs> oh, there's, the, there's that rabid monkey, man. Did you hear that? Get the bags out of the car. Get the bags out of the car, you son of a bitch. I don't care about no goddamn monkey in the goddamn basement. You know, you know squealing and screaming, man. Who fucking cares? Okay. Everybody thinks it's the monkey that's doing the killing, like I said, but it's actually the stupid-ass son. The son, like I said, the son is actually, he's the, the guy in the wheelchair that lurches his son. And, and of course, uh, the old Spencer is his mother. So, like I already told you, Five minutes ago or ten minutes ago. Oh my god, it's just just funny as hell, man. It reminds me of a you know something? This fucking house reminds me of a fucking morgue. I don't know why, but it has the atmospherics of a morgue. You know, really deadpan, uh, black, dark humor. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is actually a pretty cool looking movie, man. Yes. Here comes the reading of the will pretty soon. You should see the look on all the people in the house that actually live in the house and they don't get shit, man. They just look at the poor young lady and they go, I'm going to kill your fucking ass at, six, at 2 o'clock in the morning and your Probably goddamn me, husband, I'll too. Let's fast forward That's a little bit, man. Yogi That's where well, Yogi is, is man. Yogi, man, Yogi might fucking just strangle your ass, man. She gets everything, man. She gets everything except the. Uh, uh, except she's got to live with that old fucker in a wheelchair. This guy's pretty cool. He's the attorney. I told you about him. Look at this guy. 
He's she's look he's looking at her like you're fucking dead at two o'clock. You goddamn you. But he should be he should he should, he should be grateful. He at least gets to stay in the house for the rest of his life. To my faithful servant, Emma Crow, I hereby bequeath the sum of fifty dollars monthly. <laughs> Fifty dollars a month for like twenty-five years of hard uh, service to this these fuckers in the house, man. The sun doesn't get shit. Oh man, the look on these people's faces when they is priceless when they don't get shit, man. It's fucking hilarious. I'm gonna skip to the next frame. Oh my god, let's go to the let's go to the actual next frame. So, you know, like the movie, like I said, just kind of becomes more of a murder mystery as it goes along. You know, once the will is read, then the guy in the wheelchair, his plan goes into action. He has a stupid son, Hans, Hans or something, start killing people. You know, he kills uh, his own mother. He ends up trying to kill his own father in a wheelchair because he, 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 he misled him about the will and shit. You know, and... Uh, <laughs> He probably killed the brother up in the bedroom, too, you know, Hans, you know. Oh, my God, it's a terrible man. Hey, I'm doing pretty good in this one. Ah. Ah, this is great. This is the chauffeur, man. This guy is the best part of the movie, man. He's actually got some good humorous lines. Fucking bearskin rugs got him by the foot. Oh my god, man. Oh man. I gotta figure out who this is uh this young uh, guy is right there with the with the bathrobe on. Like I said, he's the chauffeur that brings everybody to the house. You know. <laughs> he's, oh. There's a husband trying to find out who tried to kill his wife originally. You know, like all hairy arm that fucking Hans, man. Son of a bitch. I've carefully examined your room here, and there's no evidence of anyone having been there. My little girl is having a nightmare. Oh, I put some drugs in your water. You just think a hairy hand is is uh is fucking trying to strangle you at, at uh, two o'clock in the morning. I'm an awful baby. Oh, God. This is a good movie for ripping apart, man. I'm awfully sorry. She'll be dead anyway, Mrs. Crude, whatever her damn name is. She's already dead because she sleeps in that bed, and then the hand comes through that uh, the, the backboard of the bed and strangles her while she's sound asleep, and that daughter's sitting in the fucking chair sleeping in the chair instead. Yeah, that's like, oh my god, it's like, oh, the son actually kills his mother, not knowing that's actually, he thinks it's the, the young lady, and so, <laughs> he kills his own mother, man, what a, what a fucking moron, oh my god, it's terrible, anyway, I, I, like, it's a pretty basic story, you know, like I said, there's lots of different twists and turns here, and you really don't know who's doing the killing until you, you actually see Hans, you know, trying to kill people and stuff like that when he tries to kill his father. He accident accidentally kills his sister, his mother in the bed that, you know, a couple of scenes up from that frame right there, you know, and <laughs> at the end, you know, he's going to try to kill the daughter again, the 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 lady, the young lady who gets the, all the money in the house and everything. He drags her down to the cellar where Yogi is fucking caged up in the in the big old giant metal cage. And he actually gets sucked into the cage and Yogi fucking kills Hans, man. And of course she's safe and they come down and rescue her in the end of the movie. That's pretty much the end of the movie, you know. So he got the dead guy up in the, ba up in the second floor. 
the guy, he was some kind of a scientist or something. He was experimenting with uh, all kinds of uh, primates and stuff like that. Then he got the dead housekeeper and her dead son. And he got the guy who almost gets in a wheelchair, who almost gets killed, but he somehow survives. And he confesses everything that he's behind the whole plot to kill uh, the young lady who inherited the house and all the money and stuff like that. So he implicated himself in, in murder and stuff like that. Uh, his son uh, Hans tries like I said tries to kill him but he doesn't quite succeed and he's alive and then the two doctors go into the room when he's unconscious and basically he confesses to everything it was a big plan to kill everybody so he gets all the money along with his son Hans who's already dead at the end of the movie and his mother is already dead <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the brother up in the second floor is already fucking dead Oh my god, it was a fucking stupid movie. The attorney is pretty good. The guy that... Let's see. Oh yeah, this is where she gets killed. This is this is cool, man. This is the mother of Hans. She's going to take some sleeping pills. Or some sleeping solutions. She's going to fall asleep. And Hans comes... Uh, or uh, Yeah, from behind with a hairy hand. Some kind of makeup. On her, and strangles her in her bed, you know. Oh my god, it's so stupid. Of course, this is uh, this is the doctor, the young uh, woman, you know, the husband. So they 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 live at the end. Uh, Mr. Wilkes. Oh, Mr. Wilkes, is this your nasty uh, fucking cigar? I like that doctor. He's pretty cool. He's actually got some really cool uh, facial expressions in this movie, which I actually think are pretty damn cool. He's like, he knows something's going on, but he can't quite, you know, he, like I said, he's the attorney. He knows something's going on, but he can't quite put his finger on it until all the shit starts to hit the fan, so to speak, with the murders. And the, I, I, I like this movie. The movie's cool. I'm going to give it a pretty good rating, man. For 1932, how much time are we up to? Oh, we can do another five minutes. For 1932, it's actually a pretty cool movie. Dark, atmospheric, creepy yeah, not much of a soundtrack, you know, kind of more thunderstorms and rain type stuff, you know, and, you know, just echoes in the house and shit like that, you know, and, you know, and uh, I'm not sure if this is an actual creepy house or it's a soundstage on a movie uh, studio uh, back lot or something like that, but, God, I look good. I'm growing my boobies, but I look good, man. I have to get, I have to hand it to Bradley, man. He's making... Spidey presents even more sexy than I already am. Would you not agree? Would you not agree? Patty always knows what's going on, man. <laughs> this is oh, this is phony too. This is like a diversion by Hans, 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 Hans. It, it's not real. It's like it's like a shadow. It looks like somebody's playing the violin. There's a uh, phonograph in the, off to the side playing the music. He's, <laughs> this guy's a fucking diabolic, bi diabolical killer, Hans, man. Yeah, Mr. Violin there. Oh, that's enough of this shit, man. Let's fast forward a little bit for it. About two times, man. The cast is actually pretty good. I mean, they play their parts really good. How much time are we up to? Are you sure? Yogi was locked in his cage. I'm positive. He'd have to be released by human hands. Yogi was not the type of historical woman that's given to nightmares. I think you're alarming yourself unnecessarily, Doctor. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. I still can't. I think, think you've been crazy. taking too much of those drugs that you've been prescribing, man, to other people. I'll just fast forward some rains frames here and see what's going on, man. Go on to bed. Well, has his woman. Has his what the fuck? Over a year. What the hell is this? <laughs> he 
Yeah, this is where he kills his own uh, mother here. See? She's sleeping in the chair of the daughter, the young uh, heiress daughter, and uh, she finds out that the housekeeper's been strangled in the bed where, where she was supposed to be strangled. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough of this shit. See, he finds out she's been strangled. <laughs> That should have been me, man. Oh. oh my god. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, let's talk about the movie more. Let's first we find out how much time we got left on this movie. 30 minutes. I can sit and jibber jabber for about two minutes. Now technically, like I said earlier, this movie ain't bad. It's kinda like a who done it mystery, dark, creepy, Adam's family, uh, you know, it, the house kinda looks like a fucking morgue, man, on the inside. You saw the dark lighting and everything. It's not much of a soundtrack except the opening credit music and uh, the jibber jabber from all the different uh, actors and actresses in the movie and stuff like that. And the, the crazed monkey down below in the cellar. <laughs> I'm actually going to give this one a pretty good review or a rating because I think it's actually not a bad movie. I never saw this movie in my life, and I just happened to watch the whole thing today thinking about a, a movie review, and technically it's not a bad movie. You know, it's well done. It's It's got a really a decent cast, you know, and stuff like that. The dialogue's good. You know, the, the, the scenery is good. The atmosphere, uh, atmospheric type atmosphere. Did, did I say that? that? That sounded wrong. It's kind of creepy and atmospheric. And uh, I don't know. It's got a lot. I'm not going to go through the cast. I'm going to post all the information below, you know, all the credits and everything below. But, like, again, it came from this particular, uh, you know, 50 creature feature classics, or if you want to call them classics. And uh, this one actually is pretty good. This is, that movie's actually a little better than some of the shit that's on this goddamn collection. I rate this one pretty good. That's how much time we're up to. So I'm going to give it a rating. I'm getting a fucking cramp in my fucking thigh right now i gotta end this goddamn review man so on uh you know one to ten spider webs i'm gonna give this movie actually a seven spider uh webs rating out of ten spider webs because i think it's actually kind of entertaining and it's unique it's very unique looking i mean you've got a lot of really interesting characters inside side stories and you know who done it type crap you know <laughs> You know, is it the monkey below, or is it the goddamn son Hans, or is it some kind of weird, maybe the guy up in the bedroom was still alive and he's killing people. I don't know, man. But we kind of find out towards the end of the movie who's doing the killing and who's behind the plot. The plot. <laughs> so we're going to give this a seven spider webs out of ten. You know, I could I could sit and make fun of this movie all night long, but it's actually pretty good. I like this movie. I like it. I never saw it before. Like I just mentioned, but it's actually a pretty cool movie, you know. And it's actually for 1932. It sounds good. It looks good, and it's uh, kind of unique. So, like I said, seven spider webs for the monster walks from 1932. Check it out, man. Check it out. You're all sending a booby after you. Second. <laughs> see you later, man. Take care. We'll see you maybe in a few days or something with a. Another spectacular review, only from Spidey. The only way I can do it, the Spidey way.